Good morning, everybody. So today is um, day three of our micro, I guess you want to call it greenhouse, our little micro greenhouse that I um, started. And I'm just doing a quick walk around here, kind of evaluate what we got going on with our little tomato plants here, which as you can see, they are not so little anymore. <laughs> so that's a good thing. And oh, we got some got some new guys right here. Oh, and look at this beauty. Look how big he's gotten. Wow, that's amazing. All right. Just making sure that we don't have any worms. No worms and uh got all kinds of little Look at them beauties in there, guys. Look at these. Yeah, so the tomato plants are finally, oh wow, look at all those, and you can see kind of in the back there, here, <laughs> let me come around here so you can really, you can really see it. See them down there? Yay! And there's another uh, little one coming on right there, and that guy is still green. Yeah, still green, y'all. Get out of there! Oh my gosh, I'm going to beat you one of these days. Him and eggshells. I don't know what it is. But he uh, he eats all the doggone um, eggshells out of my uh, <laughs> my raised beds. I know. He's such, an, uh, he's such a naughty little guy. I know. I still love him, but he's so naughty. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the squash. Let me show you what we got. So what happens is, you can see here. Um, the flowers come on the end, but they kind of just die off and, and rot. They just rot off and fall. They fall off and um, does not produce anything. Oh, wait, but look at that guy. There's one. Yay, there's one little yellow squashy. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Yeah, and there's some pollinators down in that flower over there. But see how they just kind of, kind of rot and fall off. I'm not sure, really sure, why that happens. Uh, but I am learning, guys. And there's another little baby pickle. And oh, what do we have behind the leaf? Look at that guy. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it so cute? It, it's only like that big. <laughs> Uh, and same thing down here. So we get lots of flowers and then they just kind of die off. And I don't know why. So I, I need, um, I'm going to have to ask my, uh, all my garden friends to see why that is. But the eggplants, you can see back there, eggplants are doing great. Yeah, but... Uh, these uh, zucchinis are just not, just not up to par, really. They're not, they're not cutting it, guys. They're not cutting it. Yeah. So my eggplants got little, got three of them on there. And then we come to our little, our little micro. Oh wait, look at this guy. There's another one right there. So then we come to our little micro greenhouse, guys. And, um, yeah, so let's take a, let's peel this back and take a look. So this, today is day three of our planting our little starts. And we just, uh, really, I, I really wanted to document to see how much longer, um, it takes if I did them this way. So let's take a look here. So today is day three, and I'm feeling the soil to feel. I know temperatures um, last night were a little bit uh, cooler, so, and the plastic, the top of the plastic is still wet, so that is actually working. But I know you're not going to get any starts in day three, but uh, we're just going to take a look here. This is kind of exciting, you know. It's kind of like a science project. 
to kind of see what uh, what works and what doesn't work and um, since uh, raised beds are kind of a new thing for me um, I wanted to see I really I just wanted to see if this um, kind of like an, an in in bed micro greenhouse would actually help the plants germinate better being outside covered in plastic instead of having them um, start inside because when I started my um, seeds inside back in in uh, February and March uh, I got a lot of stem rot and I think that was because I didn't have enough sun so being out here the warmth uh, everybody knows that seedlings need uh, a little bit of warmth to kind of get going so yeah so yeah we're just gonna keep doing our tests guys and hopefully uh, we can document our um, our successes and our fails you know yep so here are the um, blocks somebody was asking me about these these are preformed blocks and they are exclusive to uh, Home Depot and what's great about them is so I got two of them these are six inches and you just put your wood or uh, your uh, bed medium a lot of people like to use uh, metal panels but I use two by fours and it takes three two by fours which is 12 inches because we know that a two by four is actually three and a half so three and a half yep really easy I love those blocks but you can only get them at Home Depot guys so yep if you go anywhere else they do not have them it is only a Home Depot exclusive yeah Home Depot exclusive and no I'm not getting paid for <laughs> Uh, to advertise. I just really like them, guys. Alright, guys, so that's day three of our micro uh, greenhouse. Stay tuned.